Welcome to 11 West 12th Street, a remarkable townhouse in the center of Greenwich Village in the center of Manhattan in New York City. When we market a house like this to the world, there's only one thing we can be certain of. They have to be very wealthy and they have to have a need for a lot of space. This townhouse is five bedrooms, six full bathrooms, two half bathrooms. It measures over 8,500 square feet and it's asking a mere $21,900,000. The kitchen is exquisite. It is large. It takes over the full width of the entire house. And like all remarkable kitchens, this one has the best appliances. And here, most of them are actually fully integrated into the cabinetry. So the refrigeration is concealed behind this door where you have a fridge, you have a freezer, and then on the other end, you have a wine cooler. Preparing a meal in a kitchen like this is a dream come true because not only is it equipped to handle the most demanding chef, it also is equipped to allow for entertaining on a more intimate scale, maybe just with your family and friends on a daily basis. A wonderful feature of this kitchen is the fact that the entire kitchen not only overlooks, but leads out onto a private courtyard garden. What's magnificent about this garden is it's big, it's a courtyard, it's very, very secluded. It's also very weather resistant. You aren't exposed to winds and more importantly, it's big. Over here, we have a fully equipped kitchen. So entertaining outside on a grand scale is very easy. Most people who buy a townhouse are a little concerned in that they're gonna have the feeling of a lot of smaller apartments stacked on top of one another. But here you have this massive, grand, voluminous space with over 20 foot ceilings. And this gives you the kind of room that you could only achieve in a loft or a grand mansion in the suburbs. In a townhouse of this scale, you really want an impressive room. And this is the kind of room that when you invite guests in, they will be blown away. All the rooms in this townhouse are designed to appeal to an indoor-outdoor connectivity. This room specifically has wonderful French doors that open up onto a Juliet balcony overlooking the rear courtyard. This allows for multiple moments throughout the house where you are connected to nature. When you're entertaining, you have to remember guests need to be hydrated. And of course, you have to have a wet bar. The wet bar is of course beautifully concealed when not in use with these wonderful doors with leather bound handles. Once your guests build up an appetite, they can head across the hall to the formal dining room. The formal dining room spans the full width of the house again. Not unlike a lot of the other rooms within the house, there's always some connection to nature. And here you have these French door style windows that open up to allow the outdoors in. The definition of nature in New York is a little different to the rest of the world, but here we see a tree and that's pretty darn good. When dining formally, connecting to the kitchen is an important, important part of making your life easy. This house is unique in that it has a second full kitchen on this floor directly connected to the formal dining room. And in here you can prepare a full meal for your guests without going up and down stairs or using the elevator. Many large townhouses have a butler's pantry, but virtually none of them have a second kitchen like this. This is very unique to this property. We are now on the third floor of the townhouse, and this is that mezzanine that overlooks the living room. It's a wonderful moment where you can escape and have an intimate glass of whiskey or maybe a cigar. And then hidden in the corner is a full wine cellar that houses thousands of bottles of wine. Most people in the suburbs would imagine putting a wine cellar into their home is a pretty easy thing. But in New York, it's pretty darn remarkable. We don't always entertain on such a lavish scale. And there are times from day to day where you want something a little bit more intimate. And this living room, the second living room, housed on the third floor, poses a wonderful opportunity to be in a light-filled, cozier environment. This would be the perfect perch to curl up overlooking tree-lined 12th Street with friends and family, either watching a movie or catching up on a good book. Now we're ascending to the fourth floor where the entire floor has been dedicated to a grand master suite. As we approach the fourth floor, things become much more personal. This is the private space 
containing bedrooms where you go to relax and unwind. This is not for your guests. This is not for friends and family. This is purely for your self-indulgence. The master bedroom is exceptionally quiet, and in New York, having a sanctuary of silence and peace and tranquility is especially valuable because you are in the middle of everything, and yet sometimes you just need to escape. To give you an idea of scale, this is a king-size bed, and you could fit in several of them just into this room. Aside from the bed, there's a separate area to this room that is enormous and designed for more relaxed living if you don't want to sit in your bed all day long. All the rooms on this floor are interconnected, so the flow from the master bedroom to the closets into the master bath is very seamless. This room has a little secret in that who wants to take their laundry down the elevator or down all those stairs when you have, in the corner of your closet, your own little laundry chute, pop it in there, hits the basement and it gets its wash. This bathroom has it all. It has an enormous twin shower with multi-jets. It has two rainhead showers and then an enormous overhead rain shower. A rain shower that size is very, very unusual and requires specific engineering to make it function properly. But when you're in here, it'll be the equivalent of being in a rainstorm in the middle of a monsoon. On top of that, you have a deep soaking tub and then you have twin sinks with multiple storage below and above. The marble on the sinks is really extraordinary. You will see that it is book matched, so the grains are exquisitely interconnected and mirrored. And then the sinks themselves are actually constructed out of the exact same marble. It's a very customized feature. On this floor, you also have a wonderful private study, or if you wanted to use it as a boudoir or an additional bedroom, some people might call it the snoring bedroom. The commute from your bedroom to this office is a lot easier than leaving the house. So having everything under one roof is about as good as it gets. We're on the fifth floor now, directly above the master suite floor. And here we contain three full bedrooms and two full bathrooms. But on top of that, we have a large terrace. When you have a house this large, no one is fighting over rooms because all the rooms are beautifully scaled. They all have magnificent windows and exposures and light. There's not one disadvantaged room in the entire house. So naturally, six floors implies a lot of stairs. But in this house, very discreetly positioned in the middle is an elevator that connects you to all the floors. So let's take an elevator right down to the basement where we'll go to a wonderful media room and a gym. Home theatres are not an unusual feature in a mansion in the suburbs, but to have one in your home in the middle of Manhattan is an extraordinary luxury. The outstanding features of this home theatre are the fact that it is laid out like a theatre with staggered seating so that the elevation allows those in the rear to see everything. Not only is the room completely fitted with surround sound, it is also insulated on all the walls to make sure that the acoustics are close to perfect. Continuing in this cellar, we have a full gym. It even gets a little peak of natural daylight, but it's broad and big, and more importantly, it has an adjoining full bathroom with a dry sauna. The immense size of this room is not conducive to just a single person workout. You really have space to bring your friends over. And for those of us who require paparazzi-proof living, this townhouse has not one, but actually two spaces for a car. Very, very, very few townhouses in New York City have private parking like this here, but almost none of them have space for two cars. That is extraordinary. This townhouse is unusual in that it really, really has it all. If you start from the grand living spaces, three kitchens, parking for two cars, a media room, a private gym, 
multiple bathrooms, multiple powder rooms, laundry chutes. This house truly has it all. There's the American dream, and then there's the New York dream. This is the New York dream.